The food bill of President Muhammad Buhari and Vice President Yemi Oshibajos has doubled amidst rising food prices. And Turkey President Erdogan Tayyip says terrorists who tried to overthrow him are in Nigeria. Now this is Plus Politics. I am Justin Akadoye. The Nigerian taxpayers will have to pay twice as much to feed their president, that's President Mohamed Buhari and Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo in 2022. As food prices continue to rise, the breakdown of the proposed 2022 budget shows that Buhari and Oshibajo's offices will spend 457 million naira on food. That is more than twice that was allocated for food last year or this year and the previous years. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, food inflation reached its highest level in 12 years in March, while the rise has slowed in the last six months. Food inflation remains significantly high at 16.63% and 19.57% respectively in September. For 2022, the President's office will spend 301 million naira on foodstuff and catering material supplies, while the Vice President's bill was put at 156 million naira. Now, joining us to discuss this is Tunji Abdul Hamid, a legal practitioner and Bonahon, a logic and economist. Many thanks for joining us, um, gentlemen. Good evening, Abbas. Thanks for joining us on the show this evening. Of course, to you, Bonahon, joining us via Zoom. Thank you very much. Nice to be with you. All right, let me start with you, uh, Barrister Abdul Hamid. You have heard the breakdown of what uh, we Nigerians are supposed to be paying for the president and the vice president's um, bill, food uh, for bill uh, next year. It is as high as uh, the president uh, spending um, 301 million on foodstuff and catering materials, while that of the president is put at, or vice president is put at 156 million naira. Just looking at it on the surface, uh, morally, what hits you, uh, judging by the fact that the average Nigerian is actually biting under the gloves of poverty? Now, you see, it's unfortunate that uh, our system is such that uh, only, only gives a opportunity to those in government. You know, those in government are supposed to be the servant of the people. But in Nigeria, the device is the case. Those in government are now the one uh, who is to be served by the people. You see, and it's unfortunate that, look, the government will continue to say the masses should tighten their beds because of the scarcity of uh, this and that. The same government is not, is not tightening its beds. They are, they, are, they are increasing their, or doubling their, their expenses and they're complaining about a lack of a fund. You know, and, and, I, and that's why I always agree with people that say Nigeria is, a, is not a rich country or whatever. We are. We don't manage our, what, what, we are, what we lack is a management of our resources. It's unfortunate that uh, such amount of money is being marked for the president. I, don't, I, I imagine what and what they will, they will be eating, at that, particularly at that age of our president. And probably maybe that, that, that expenses covers the uh, standard uh, family as well, those mm. who are not even living the... Uh, that's all right, which, is, which is going to be unfortunate, you see. Mm. On a serious note, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not palatable to, to hear that. That uh, such uh, amount of money has been uh, budgeted for the presidency in terms of uh, food. Uh, uh, food. All right, let's go to uh, Gwalaho. You are an economist. Uh, what the rise in prices of our food stuff uh, every day in the market, uh, you know, what hits you really when we talk about uh, spending as much as 301 million on food stuff? and catering, judging by the fact that the average Nigerian barely lives um, below $1, uh, you know, per day. If, if food costs has increased for the average Nigerian, um, it is, it is uh, expected that it will also have increased, even for the president and the vice president as well, because uh, the market is the same whether the local market or for the imported goods, all prices went up and it also have gone up for the president and the vice president as well. However, um, under our peculiar circumstances, I think one 
might be ideal is for us to revisit those budget numbers and do what you call a zero-based budget for those items. Zero-based means you're not just saying, oh, because food items have increased, therefore let me just increase the amount we spent last year. Rather, what you do is that you actually build that cost from the zero pay, from the scratch. I said, so, okay, on the average, this is the number of people that the president or the vice president hosts in a day. These are the number of international visitors that come in a, in a, in a, in a year. Um, and then what does it take to feed all these people? You can be sure that this old man himself, uh, the president is only about 78, um, Mr. Shibajo is, is at 60, but how much food can they eat as an individual? So you can be sure that this is not about their coming. But all the same, we now need to be sure that there are no wasted. Because one of the problems we have on this front today, a lot of wasted is still inside our numbers. We don't have that much money to spend. The little we have have all sorts of wasted. So let's go zero waste. Budgeting on those uh, uh, budget right, build it up from scratch and arrive at something that makes sense rather than just put a percentage in on what you spend the last time. Uh, uh, Bola, I still want us to talk more concerning on um, what, uh, you know, ideology or the what basis that particular amount was, uh, you know, you know, put uh, forth. You know, you have said about uh, prices of food generally in Nigeria has actually doubled, and maybe that might be one of the reasons why that of the president and the vice president, you know, have also been, you know, doubled. But then again, the average Nigerians, uh, their salaries have not actually increased over time. You know, they are still groaning under the biting effect of uh, inflation. You know, don't you think that we should not be talking about doubling uh, the, the, the budget for their food items? Rather, we should look inwards and tackle how we can actually ensure that we have, you know, adequate food for residents and, of course, Nigerians generally. Some audio problems, right, then. Um, I did not hear some of what you said, so I'm actually unable to... Uh, okay, let me repeat what I said. A school of thought believes that uh, the president uh, and the vice president's uh, you know, budget for feeding uh, Double because of the rising costs, you know, of um, food items in the country. But another I'm sorry, school. The audio problem has persisted. I still cannot hear you. Yeah. Right, I will try and reconnect uh, with you, uh, Golohan, and uh, I'll try and raise that question uh, again. But let me speak to uh, Tunji Abdul Hamid and let us try and get, you know, more, uh, you know, reactions concerning all of these issues right now. You know, at a time when everyone is talking about uh, reducing the cost of, um, you know, of um, governance and uh, the perfect of government, and we have uh, rising costs in items, you know, just food items, you know, specifically here. It, uh, it has been said that uh, refreshment and meals will take about um, 50.9 million for the two highest offices, a total of 30.6 million, uh, you know, for uh, the president and 20 million slated for the vice president. Shouldn't we really be looking at reducing the cost of governance right now instead of looking at how we can, you know, double, you know, this bills for the presidency, not just for feeding. And we should be looking at reducing, reducing the cost of governance because uh, you know the government have already been saying that look, we don't have money, and they, they also be appealing to people to to cut their, their, to, to reduce their expenses. But they are not re reducing their own expenses, and that's why people are, are, are worried that look, when you say I should do this, you are not doing the same thing. When you are, we are complaining about lack of finance, you are you are doubling your own. Uh, uh, expenses and then uh, to me, I don't even think we should be feeding the president or the vice president or, the, or any government officer. So who should be because uh, because they, they are they are responsible. Is. They are collecting salary. They are, not, they are not doing a free job. The, the allowance may be too low or whatever. It, they decide for it. So invariably, they should be. Uh, they, 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 they collect allowance from, from their own exactly, salaries or exactly. their own so they should as feel what other people are feeling. If you are the president or you are the whatever, and they say there is an increment in in, 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 in in cost of food, you now double your your budget for that purpose, would the salary of the other uh, workers be doubled because there's, a, there's an increment in is that? Is that international so, best practice? I, I think uh, I'm aware that uh, uh, Obama, at the time that he said uh, he was paying for his own uh, uh, things that outside, the, whatever he, whenever he wants to do things, that are not within the, the, the confines of, the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of his uh, personal thing, like even feeding, that he pays for, for, his, for his pockets. 
Mm. And if he's paying he's a member of his family, maybe he wants to give anybody any money or whatever, it will come from his pocket, not, not government uh, cover. But that's not what we see in Nigeria. In Nigeria, anything, once you are the president or governor or you are in authority, all your expenses will be government uh, uh, money. So I think uh, we, we are not, we're not helping ourselves. As far as the government that is preaching uh, uh, we should be, we should be, we should, we should maintain uh, the, the decorum in terms of uh, spending and whatever. And it's not, uh, it, you know, if you look at the consistently in the last four years or so, it has been one or something million uh, mm. uh, or, or, or the other part, or three for the president, the food, food alone, uh, combined with the president, two, almost three hundred million naira mm. for two of them every year. Uh, that has been this. What are they eating? Mm. What is the, what, what, what is the, what is the level? Well, well, I, I'm not surprised anyway because we have been told every year that uh, the cutlery is being used at the Asso Rock uh, cost hundred million naira every month, uh, every year. So I don't know what to do with the college after, after, after Are they bought locally or they actually I don't know how it comes, but in the budget, yeah. they, only are, they, they always are, are mark 100 million naira as cutlery a budget. For a fresh cutlery. every year. I don't know what to do with the one they used last year. Maybe they throw it away every year or every time. So I, I think it's not, it's not a good example from the president. Because if everybody want to, to agitate and say, look, there's, a, there's an increase, increment in the what's it called, cost of food, mm. then therefore we need to increase our salary. That oh. would be chaos. All right, uh, let's uh, try and reconnect uh, with Ngbola uh, uh, or, or Lodge Day on this particular discourse now. Uh, before we had that disconnect, we're talking about um, the rising cost of um, food items in Nigeria. Now. And uh, a school of thought uh, is saying that uh, this uh, particular amount that we have right now for the president and the vice president may have been predicated on the fact that uh, food prices have doubled. But indeed, Nigerians have not actually gotten increases in their salaries over time. But then again, what would you recommend? Uh, the, no, because one would have thought that we should be looking at uh, you know, ensuring that there is food security in the country and that the average Nigerian goes to the market in as much as he earns just little, but he should be able to afford as much to you know, take care of his immediate family. Well, can you hear us? Perfectly, I agree with you. Um, that is the direction we need to go. Food security is very important, and this year has been particularly challenging, I believe, uh, maybe because of the security uh, in, the, in the environment. Um, so, it, it, I think government has taken certain, uh, has taken certain steps in, in ensuring that we are able to, uh, you know, provide financing, there were all these initiatives to get financing across to the agricultural sector. But without fixing the security problem, we will still be concerned as to how much we can actually produce. Because as a farmers, even when they are collecting money, they cannot go into those farms to produce, and there is a problem. So that is why it becomes very important for us to solve that uh, uh, insecurity problem so that there will be more food on the table for the Nigerians. Um, I, I, I heard uh, the guest in the studio say something about the fact that Obama pays for his food. That is the truth. He pays for his own food. But you see, when you look at the budget that is called food that the president uh, of his own people, it is not about what the president needs. If it is broken down, we will see, for example, the Turkish president was just around. There are presidential offices, there are all sorts of visitors all through the year. So, even when we decide to split the one for the president's food away from the rest, the rest will still be very significant to constitute maybe up to like 90 or 80% of, of that figure. So, the best thing is actually to walk back to that figure and, you know, take it line, I said, for my time, and give it from scratch. By the time you do a zero-based budget, by the time you do a zero all right, uh, uh, let's stay on the rising uh, cost of um, food items for one bit. Uh, and the president broadcast on October 1st that on Independence Day, he actually attributed uh, the rise to the, you know, you know, the issues of um, middlemen and all of that. But would you really agree that uh, we have a problem? Uh, we are where we are right now because of uh, maybe some, you know, well, I say uh, unscrupulous activities of um, the middlemen, according to the president, as he said on Independence Day. The middlemen problems. But I don't want to be, because middlemen have always been there. They've always 
wasn't there, and the prices of food have not been this high. So the subject matter of middlemen is not new in that market dynamics. We can therefore not blame the food prices on middlemen. So, All right. I would say that insecurity is a major problem that is affecting our food security in this country. And we must still deal with that. But of course, there are other issues. There are the issues of storage. Um, you know, in certain food categories in Nigeria today, up to 40% of what is produced is wasted because we do not have the facility to preserve, to store those food items. So even move them to where they are consumed sometimes is a problem because of the road infrastructure that we have. So all these issues must be carefully put together to solve our problem. I, I, would, I don't want to go to the state of uh, uh, the weak research and science and technology base in the agricultural space in Nigeria. But the, 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 the problem that we have was blaming it on the human uh, All right, thank you, Bolaho. Uh, um, Barrister Tunji, let's still talk about uh, a point that you raised earlier, and you talked about um, the president or the presidency, that's the president and, of course, the vice president paying for Jerome uh, Mills. Uh, still taking it one step further, don't you think that it goes beyond just them um, paying, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, what they get to eat on a daily basis? You know, looking at... Um, how much we budget, you know, daily, you know, for, you know, those who are the hems of affairs, uh, it actually takes so much, you know, and of course, it's the average Nigerian, you know, who actually pays for all of this um, through taxes and, of course, other, uh, you know, income that um, the federal government, uh, you know, makes uh, in the fiscal year. Just what would you recommend, just aside from, you know, the expenses on food, what aspects should we also be looking at, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, they paying their own bills and, of course, uh, you know, invariably gets into the fact that and the cost of governance is actually reduced in this country. The, the truth is that we are wasteful in this country in terms of uh, maintaining the political class. Political class are the ones benefiting so much from our resources. They, they give themselves a huge amount of money to look at the National Assembly. Look at the, people have always been focusing on the National Assembly. As far as I'm concerned, the National Assembly is not taking... Uh, because people complain that the National Assembly is the one that is taking a huge stock of our money. No, I disagree. The entire budget of the National Assembly is about 120 million, billion or so. Out of, uh, about, out of trillions, mm. 16 or so, or so trillion. So how, how, how could they be the one? The, but generally, whether the National Assembly, the presidency, the ministers, the all executive positions, you know, we, when, when you talk about reducing costs, that's where we should start from. We need to reduce all the, all the, all the expenses. You know, the, 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 the president, whenever he goes out from Abuja, inside his asshole rock to even Matama or whatever, there's, a, there's an allowance. For, for, for inconvenience and all that. And if you, are, if you want to maintain, if you want to ensure that, look, things are done the way, uh, things are proper in this country, we need to cut all these uh, unnecessary uh, costs. This is, if you want to serve, you serve. If you want to do a business, apply for it and say, look, I want to, I want, let's engage. How much is my salary? If I want to do it, I will do. If I don't want to do it. So but they now see that position as a place to maintain their, stand, uh, their life and to, uh, to enjoy themselves. So that's why they give themselves a huge amount of money. And unfortunately, we don't ask, we don't ask, we don't ask questions. Mm. And we don't even uh, do anything. We just take it as it is. And then we say, hey, should the president not eat? But people will tell you that what is it? So, should the president not eat? What about the average Nigerian? Should the average Nigerian eat as well? Uh, no, the, the state, I'm telling you what the average Nigerian will say. Mm. Those who are in, in love with, the, with those in government, or those who are supporting them because of their party, they will tell you, so you want the president not to eat? You want the president, you want the president to, 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 to not to maintain his family, in, in extended family and other families, or other people that are coming to him? You want him to live like you? Because he, 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 he's not, you know, that kind of attitude will not change anything. So we need to also put, all of us need to put our hands on deck. We need to put the pressure on them. Ask them questions. I, I expect Labour to also say, look, there's a, there's a food in, uh, inflation in the country and uh, we need to increase our salary. That, that, when they raise that one, the government will tell you there's no money. Mm. There's no money, but they have a way of getting money to, 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 to maintain their own life. Mm. So it, it, it's, not, it's not fair. We are not uh, running, we are running a government for the few people. Those in government and for the for those in, go, in government, and that, that's not democracy. Democracy is government of the people by the people and for the people. What we have now is government of the few by the few and for the few, which yeah. is not it's not it's not proper. We are maintaining them with our money, and that's all. And that's why we're not having enough enough to, to maintain our life. And I, I, I will also say that I, I disagree with people that will tell me Nigeria is not a rich country or whatever. We are to an, to an extent. If you cut our coat the way, uh, 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 what, how, do you, how do you say it? According to your clothes. According clots. to our, our clothes. Mm. So the, I expect the president to say, look, 
now that this is what we have, the price has, has gone up. Hmm. We need to maintain this standard and see and reduce some of the things we are, we are, we are doing before. That's, that's how a leader should do, not hmm. to increase the money and say, and leave other people to say, go to hell. Whatever you want to do, you'll do it. All right, Boho, looking at our budgeting and process in Nigeria, vis-a-vis uh, -vis how much we actually, you know, provide, you know, stipulate for these uh, expenditure, don't you think that um, in as much as uh, we are talking of rising cost of, uh, you know, food items and, of course, uh, you know, reducing the cost of governance, uh, we should also look inwards because over time, uh, the, this particular administration has actually talked about uh, promoting uh, made-in-Nigerian product and, of course, goods and all of that. In my opinion, I, I feel that uh, for the budget to have increased uh, from this amount, you know, you know, from what it was last year, the bulk of uh, the expenditure on feeding, I would say, actually imported, imported into the country. So what should we be doing vis-a-vis -vis ensuring that uh, we can look at them? Um, getting these food items and getting these materials and getting this catering you know locally so in that way we can actually keep these monies within our country and of course uh, you know reduce our capital flight well are you still with us well um you see it's most likely okay most likely the, someone like the president or the vice president has a little bit of and not likely continue it if they are used to Nigerian food. That is what they will do. However, I agree perfectly with you that we need to drive the consumption of our food. In fact, let's take it to us to the form of our dignity. You say, look, this is the Nigerian Jollof price, or this is the Nigerian pounded dinner, and, and all that stuff. I think it's introduced territory. I'm not saying that this were uh, a, a magical success. If you're going to host, for example, the uh, president of Turkey, um, if you offer him pounded dinner, he may not be able to swallow it. You still have to provide those continental dishes that will be applicable to the kind of guests from all over the world that this people will receive. But on the local side of things, because their guests are not just international, on the local side of things, it builds on the president and the vice president to leave off to the subject matter of let's consume what we produce. And the funny thing is that even when consuming what we produce, prices of what we produce has gone up. It has gone up. So that is not on one side, and the cost of what we also produce to the locally has gone up as well. So either way you look at it, there are, there are the price increases, uh, and, I mean the price increase, and there will be price increases. But let us go back to those numbers, break them down, and decide on what we should give, what we can deficit, what represents which things that we need to remove, or we can do without, and this is in line everything. But never pray, because government is calling for people to make sacrifices. The people also want to see what sacrifices are being made. And that is an important part. All right, Boho, uh, let me just stay with you for one minute. Now, still we are talking about uh, reducing the cost of governance. You know that the 2022 budget is actually predicated uh, hugely on external borrowing. You know, what direction would you point the government in terms of um, how it should go about its um, budgeting processes and, of course, um, you know, income generation? So that way we can actually talk about uh, reducing all the paraphernalia of government. What direction should they actually be going vis-a-vis -vis, uh, this um, rising cost of food? Items, uh, if you were so, if you were to advise economically, well, if I'm to advise the government, uh, there are several things that can be done, um, and those, those things include getting more private participation in our capital. So that means, rather than asking the uh, World Bank to borrow us or to go to China and borrow, we have to consider more funding over projects. 
to the private sector to run. So they will bring private capital, they will also bring private money, and we won't have to go and borrow to do those. Also, government has a lot of um, GOEs, the government are private, that are just dream. They are not producing anything, they are profitable, and they continue to consume value for them. Every year, the way you have the courage, we dispose of some of these surprises. We put it in the property of Franklin and Massimo Marilito, and I just put it to become Marilito's houses all over the place. So, we need to, because one of our problems is, is actually revenue, is a critical issue. Um, I think my colleague in the studio said, okay, but we know we earn enough. We, we may, I don't think we earn enough. The entire budget of Nigeria for this year is just about the size of our income in South Africa. That is everything. The entire budget, defense to education, and they are everything together. It's not up to the education budget of South Africa. So it, 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 we, we're not earning enough. So that is what makes it more sad. When the little we earn, we are not making the best of it. Rather, we are allowing it to go into winning the whole sort by not paying attention to even the budgeting process or its implementation, the way it should be. We need, you know, I mean, when the government just came in, we talk about zero basic budget. Uh, unfortunately, I think somewhere along the line, we have abandoned the zero budget. What zero based allow you to do is not to say, because I spent 10 naira on something last year, therefore let me put 2 naira on top of it for this year. No, that is that is not the way to do budget. Rather, look at the entire tender is spent out there and ask yourself, was I going to spend this tender? If I was to say, how much do I indeed need to spend? And then you build up the cost. If I end up at five naira, you can end up at eight naira. Rather than just having an emphasis in the top of what you spent last. So the budgeting process needs to as it were. But beyond the process, Nigeria must make more money. Revenue is a critical issue, and that that worry, that deficit that you get see all the time, is a function of the fact that the country is not generating enough revenue to cover its cost. All right, thank, thank you, Bonham, for your input. Uh, let's um, talk uh, to Tunji right now. You have heard um, Bonham and all that he has stipulated concerning um, the budget um, process in, uh, you know, in Nigeria. Now, as we round off on this particular discourse now, what should, you, uh, what should the federal government, uh, of course, and the legislature, and of course, the various arms of government be taken away from all of this discussion so that at the end of the day, we would have um, a government that we are proud of and Nigerians can actually, you know, still go to the market and uh, even as much as they don't earn as much as they would have desired, they can still get the basic staples. I think the first thing I would say is that the government should not uh, 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 form the habit of uh, do as I say. I say uh, uh, do, as I, do, as I, do, do what I say, but don't do what I do. You know, in other words, you ask people to tighten their bed, but you are not tightening your bed. They must, they must work on that. We must reduce the cost of governance. We must, the most importantly, while we're having this crisis, is insecurity. Mm. They need to look for solution to this insecurity. There is no, there is no amount of, there is nothing we can do without this, without without security. No, this food uh, insecurity will continue because nobody is in the farm now. A majority of them are not are, are, are not are not able to do what what what, what to bring. Uh, so if even if it, when you talk about having our local or whatever, we cannot get it because there are no there are no, there are no people in, uh, at the farm to, to to give us the food because they are not allowed to do that. You, the insecurity is so is so enormous that even the, recently today we are told that a, 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 a rail or mm. our train was attacked. Yes, it was. And so can you can you imagine mm. talk of people who are at the farm? For you to go to your farm, you must have security. And then you see the policy of government in terms of a, a, a agricultural policies only favor those who are, who are close to the government. Most time when they say there they, they, they is this program for agri or whatever whatever that's been that's been mm. given out. Those the real farmers don't get it. The, don't get the, it. the, the emergency farmers are the ones that get it. Mm. And who are these emergency farmers? Politicians. Most of politicians, yeah. Once they say, once they, once they realize the, the way government is going, they set up a particular, uh, uh, they set up a, a firm or something in that regard so that they will be able to benefit. And they will benefit. So the real farmers, those who are really into farming, 
don't get to see the, all this uh, benefit they were talking about. We just sit on paper, and then other people will be getting it. So until we ensure that, look, agricultural policies or whatever are made in such a way that people, the real farmers get uh, the, the benefits of whatever policies. So the issues are not really the policies themselves, it's the implementation of the policies. Yeah, implementation and the policy. And okay. Again, we have bad policies as well. Because uh, to me, I will still go back to that area when the, when the government uh, uh, closed the border. We, mm. do, we, are, we don't have enough uh, uh, food in, in, in the country. Mm -hmm. And you are closing border for the, for the fewer. That, mm. that, that, that's the beginning of our crisis. And they added more to it. Security added more to it. All so right. we need to also look at our security uh, architecture. We need to look, look at our policies on our Greek and other uh, uh, policies. With that, and the, those in government should be ready to sacrifice and then not just uh, uh, say, as the team just increases, service. they will yeah. just increase their own awareness. They should also maintain or even reduce and say, look, let's go by what we have mm. and see how we can maintain this. All right. That's how we go about it. All right, thank you so much, Mtunji Abdul Hamid, I'm legal practitioner, for your input concerning this particular discuss. Thank you for having me. And of course, uh, Gwalaho um, Oloje, there, um, an economist uh, who joined us um, via Zoom. We do appreciate your time. All right, thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, Turkish president alleges that those who are against his administration are still active in Nigeria. To join us again.